Hi again, my lovelies. My name is Bridget, and I'm very happy that you decided to join me again today. I've always been both a homebody and a lover of the countryside and the peace and solitude that dwells therein. The need for quietness drew me back home after graduating from college, and I haven't left this rural countryside in southeast Georgia since returning. My love of the land and its simple charms has stirred in me a desire to cultivate this beautiful place while making it a home. There are so many opportunities for recreation and outdoor activities here since the weather is warm and sunny most of the year. And I feel very blessed for that because I don't know how I'd handle living where it gets really cold. I've never even experienced a foot of snow and have rarely even seen a light dusting of it. I know that the concept of simple living is different for everyone, but I feel like there are ways to adapt this concept regardless of where you live. I live in a very small home with limited space, and while that has contributed in part to my simplistic way of living, I also think that what comes into play is my personality and my nature, the desire that I have to live sustainably and not overconsume in my daily practice. I've never considered myself a minimalist, however, because I feel I'm just too sentimental and I find value in things around me too much. I just like to have things like clothes, shoes, collectibles, things that can do things for me or provide further ease of living, and attempting to be a minimalist would just be futile for me, I have no doubt.
There are practical ways of maintaining an organized space that can be found within my room and in my closet. Furniture pieces that have drawers and cubbies are great ways to further hide away your things while still keeping them easy to access. I do love to shop, so sometimes I indulge my love of clothing, shoes, antiquities, accessories, and I purchase these items throughout the year, but I try to make conscious effort to clean out closets and clutter and donate often, especially if I'm bringing in something new. I also strive to make conscious thoughts and evaluate where the items are coming from and how they are made before purchasing. I can't avoid buying new things as needed, but when I can, I try to buy secondhand and homemade things from small business entrepreneurs like myself. All of my hobbies alone require many materials and art supplies, not to mention that I work from home and use many different mediums and tools that are essential to my trade. Maybe one day I can give you a tour of my workspace also. Let me know in the comments.
While simplicity is a great way to reduce stress and manage living in a small space, things of beauty bring me joy and are important to me, and I find happiness in decorating and making my space cozy. As you can see, my bedroom is quite small, though I am very thankful for my loft bed because it provides more floor space and storage and living area. Most of the items in here are thrifted or secondhand because I just love the nostalgia and something passed down to give treasures new life and purpose. So while I may not be considered a minimalist by the amount that I consume, it's fair to say that I can still practice ways in how I consume in an effort to maintain a simple way of life. When I consider simple living, I associate it with an overall lifestyle and a driving force to maintain well-being, physically, mentally, and emotionally.
Sometimes in achieving the balance of this lifestyle, stuff does play a part. But unlike with minimalism, it's not the focal point or driving force. Quality of life and achieving it throughout aspects of time, relationships, work, and health are highly important to me, and I truly think this is the theme at the heart of simplicity. Simple living and self-care go hand in hand in that they allow me to unplug, peel away, and reduce stress in life by creating necessary room for simplicity to abide. That's why self-love and self-care are so essential. As I've been learning more and more about ancestral wisdom and the roots of how our ancestors would have lived and what their outlook on life would have been, the more I come to realize the historical roots of simplicity. In a sense, simple living is about reaching back in time and embracing simpler moments that once were. As one embracing simple living, I can honestly say that my pursuits are towards a more self-sufficient way of life. While I'll never live off-grid, well, never say never, I am definitely searching for new ways to make life easier by relying less on other people, businesses, and society.
continue to find myself in the pursuits of nostalgic wonders of simpler times which inspire me and bring hope. And all the while I make sure that I stay connected to the basics of living which will in turn naturally lead to simplicity. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!